Hey guys, and welcome to Megan's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make my famous garlic chicken. Chicken? Chicken? Well, that was nice. Hey guys, and welcome to Menya's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make my famous garlic chicken using minimal ingredients. You'll notice I'm leaning pretty hard on this counter, and that's because this place was built 20 years ago for little people. But I digress. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this chicken as quickly as possible because I don't like cooking and I specifically don't like the time that cooking takes. But I love eating healthy food and so that's what I'm going to show you guys how to make today. First, I cut open the bag and pour the chicken breasts into a big mixing bowl. Then I separate the fat from the chicken. Most people like to cut the fat off with a knife, but in my experience, tearing it off with your hands is actually a lot faster and easier. I don't know if this is common practice, but it's the way I've always done it. Next, you want to cut the breasts into cubes before seasoning them. When I first started meal prepping a bunch of chicken at once, I would just cut each breast in half, then throw them on the frying pan. But I realized that I could save time by cutting them up into little pieces because they cook more quickly, more evenly, and I can cook more at the same time. So the way I cook them now allows me to make all four pounds of chicken at once, instead of cooking half first, then the other half later. Next I add seasoning. And because I don't really like cooking, my goal is to make chicken as delicious, nutritious, and as easily as possible. So I only add five ingredients. Oroshininiku, which is garlic paste. Smoked paprika, which is smoked paprika. Himalaya shio, which is Himalayan salt. Black pepper, which is black pepper. And shio koji, which is salted koji, which is a kind of fermented rice. And although most cooking shows use a million different dishes and utensils, my goal is to get in and out of the kitchen as quickly as humanly possible. So I'm using one mixing bowl, one knife, one cutting board, one wooden spork, and one frying pan. The fewer dishes I have to clean, the better. Next I turn on the gas burner and leave the dial in the middle so that the chicken doesn't burn before it has a chance to boil. Then I add the chicken and cover it with a lid so it has a chance to boil. While the chicken is boiling, I usually prep the other items, which in this case is half of a large tomato, half of a bell pepper, a big handful of broccoli, and some baked sweet potato slices. Once the chicken has boiled for about 5 minutes, I take off the lid, turn up the heat, then let it continue cooking for another 5 to 10 minutes, depending on how quickly the soup evaporates. Then, once the majority of the soup has evaporated, you're done. process takes about 20 minutes from start to finish, and this is the final product. What I do with the extra is I put it into Tupperware, just like this. Okay, and that's it. Jazzy's pretty excited to eat, so I'm gonna go feed her as well, but... <laughs> If you guys haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications button so you don't miss out on future videos. And thanks for watching. See you next week. <laughs>